Shalom viewers, praise the Lord. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and I am happy that we have been journeying together. Uh, it has been a joy and a great thing to reason together as we reflect on the word of God. Today I want us to look at Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 to 27 and uh, I'll do it in two parts. Verse 20 to 23 we will look at uh, paying attention to the instructions of the Lord. Then in our part B, we will look at how and the Lord will bless us. Uh, verse 20, Proverbs 4 verse 20 says, My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to a man's whole body. Above all else, guard your heart for it is the wellspring of life. I want to encourage you that for you to keep spiritually fit, we have to pay attention to the instructions of the Lord. And this is uh, what uh, the writer is advising each and every one of us. We pay attention, and not only paying attention, but closely, uh, we pay close attention to the instructions of the Lord. And we should... Keep them in our hearts. I love verse 22 which says, These instructions, they are life to those who find them and health to a man's whole body. If you want life, keep the instructions of the Lord. If you want to remain healthy, you must keep the instructions of the Lord. You will have found life and health to your whole body. And the writer Again, advices in verse number 23, that above all else, guard your heart. Why? Because your heart is the wellspring of life. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. These instructions will help us be in a position to guard our hearts. And uh, when we guard our hearts, whatever flows from your heart, from my heart, brings life to those who draw from us. May we follow and pay attention to the instructions of the Lord. Let us know. This will lead us to life and health to our whole bodies. And again, above all, above all, guard your heart. God bless you. Let us be ready for our part B in our next reflection. God be with you. Thank you. God bless you.